it's me, Miss H. It's so great to see you today. How are you feeling today, guys? That's awesome. I'm feeling amazing too. So today I have a question for you. What is your favorite animal? That is a good one. My favorite animal is a dog. I love dogs because they're friendly, they're fun to play with, and they're also just fun to hang out with and they're so cuddly. Now the reason I asked you what your favorite animal was is because today we're gonna do a couple yoga poses that are all about animals, all right? So it's like we're going to a yoga zoo. We're gonna visit three different animals in this zoo. We're gonna visit the dogs, we are going to visit the crocodiles, and we are going to actually visit four animals, the cats and the cows, all right? So I'm gonna show you these four, these three poses that you can do anytime at home. The reason I picked this is because our bodies, when we're doing remote learning, sometimes it seems like we're sitting more than normal, or maybe we're looking at screens more than we normally would at DAA. So this is a way to move your body in a calm way to help refresh your, your whole self and get back to your remote learning. All right, so you can do this anywhere again, just somewhere that's soft to put your knees. I'm doing it outside. You could do it on a carpet or in your bedroom, um, just somewhere that's flat, and is hard but not too hard okay so today we are going to do our cat cow pose first so this is where you're going to be two animals you are going to be on all fours so you're going to be on your hands and you're going to be on your knees all right so we put our hands on the ground and our knees are straight underneath our hips when we're at a, a cow we are looking up like this our back is caving in a bit and our neck is going up. When we're a cat, we go back, we stretch our back up and our head down, all right? So on the cow, and a cat, meow. All right, let's do that three times. Cow, cat. such a good stretch for our backs. I feel like my back, my spine is getting refreshed. Now the next move that we are going to do is our alligator or our crocodile pose. So what this one will be, will also be on our hands. We'll put our hands flat and our legs will go out. So our feet will be on the tops of our toes and we'll be like this. And we will hold here for five seconds one, two, three, four, five. We'll take a break onto our knees, a nice deep breath in, and then we'll be a crocodile again, all right? Our hands will go down, our feet will go out, we're on our toes for one, two, three, four, five. Back on our knees, a nice deep breath in, Remember, when you go into this pose, you wanna keep your belly up high and your back nice and flat. It's like you look like a table, just like a crocodile's back, all right? So our hands will go down, our feet will go out, and we'll count to five. My belly's in, my back is nice and flat. One, two, three, four, five. One more deep breath in. And our last pose that we're going to do today, which is my favorite pose, which is why I saved it for last, is our downward dog. All right, this is another great way to stretch your back, and it also gets blood flowing to your brain, which is so important in our remote learning. All right, so we're going to put our hands on the ground again, and this time we'll be on our hands and knees, and then we'll bring our bottoms up and our feet will go back. So just watch bottoms up and feet will go back, all right? This is our downward dog. The reason it's called downward dog is you've probably seen a dog stretch like that, right? They put their bottoms up and their hands down. All right, we're gonna do that for three times again. Hands are on the ground. Our bottoms go up. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Deep breath in. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. 
take a couple deep breaths in. Maybe close your eyes. Hi guys. So I have a special guest today. This is my son. What's your name? Levi. And what grade are you in? KG1. KG1? Yeah. Can you wave to all your friends out there? Hi. All right. So Levi, you're going to join me at the zoo today. And the first animal that we're going to visit is the crocodile. Yay. All right. So let's put our hands down on the ground and our feet are out. All right. And let's take a nice deep breath in and out. Go back on our knees. Let's do that one more time, okay, Levi? This time we'll make a crocodile sound. So put your hands on the mat, please. Our legs go out. Snap, snap, snap. All right, let's put our knees down. Deep breath in. Levi, I think next, let's visit the cats and the cows, okay? Cow and cow. All right, so let's put our hands down. Our knees, you're on your knees perfect, Levi. And we'll take a deep breath in to look up like a cow. And then breathe out to be hunched like a cat. Deep breath in. And out. In. And out. Wow, Levi, great work. Now the last animal we're gonna visit are the dogs, all right? So this one, we're also going to put our hands on the ground, Levi. Okay, can you scoot over just a tiny bit for me? Thank you, sir. Hands on the ground, or on our hands and our knees, and then we'll lift our bottoms up for a stretch. Great job, Levi. Back down, nice deep breath in. Let's go back up to our dog. Hold it there, good job, Levi. Bottoms will go up, stretch out our back, and down. Have a seat, Levi. So, Levi, remember, calm kids are happy kids. Calm kids are what? Happy. Calm kids are what, buddy? Happy kids. Happy kids. All right. So, we hope you have a great day, guys. We'll see you again soon.